we clawed, we came to make it rain Our ribs, take them wet or dry Charcoal briquettes, I love that smell A rub, no one could deny Don't you ever say every team's the same That's just simply not true Trophy held up high, I'm talking grit and grind, smelling like barbecue. I came in for some beans and slaw. Hi, I'm Josh Cooper, and this is Tessa Bear, and welcome to the Pandemic Pantry. We want to talk to you about using simple ingredients at your house that can, can be turned into incredible meals. A lot of people want to freak out and go to the grocery store and buy a bunch of stuff and hoard a bunch of uh, frozen pizzas and, and pasta and whatnot. Well, Tessa and I are going to teach you how you can take regular things in your pantry, turn them into incredible meals, and limit those trips to the store. Let's talk about potatoes. Now instead of going to the grocery store and letting these sit there and rot, we could use them for a delicious meal. Okay, so now we got the potatoes. These things are gonna go bad if we don't do something with them. There's about a hundred different things you can do with potatoes. You can make potato soup, you can make potato gnocchi, you can make potato skins, french fries, tater tots. Uh, there's just a billion different things, mashed potatoes billion different things you can do with potatoes. Well tonight, we're gonna take these and we're gonna turn them into gnocchi and we're gonna make the most amazing gnocchi dish you've ever had. start rolling it out into a little bit of a rope okay so let's just take half of it and we'll make it easy okay so we're gonna do it into a nice thin rope we might need you might figure that you might need a little bit more flour if it's just not holding together perfectly so you're gonna throw some more flour right Kenz? Hi. all right so we've got our little ropes little rope snakes and it doesn't matter what it looks like but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this we're gonna cut little tiny pieces okay we're gonna cut our little gnocchis we're just gonna Put them on this because like I said I'm gonna freeze them to make sure that we keep them together when we boil them but you don't have to do this you can pretty much go straight into the pot right now but uh, this is just something I like to do and it's little nuggets of potato flour goodness
Right, Tessa Baron? <laughs>